guys, welcome back to the best time of the day. We are playing some more Disney Heroes Battle Mode, which means I get to pick another winner. And today's winner is, is the Gaming Tiger, guys. He is going to get a place up on that wall. And I have to say, the wall is filling up quickly here, guys. There's Sully, just for you guys who miss him. The wall is filling up very very quickly so i've got it here guys welcome back to a brand new disney heroes battle mode video i have to say guys I think I'm finally, 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 finally going to be able to unlock the loot today. Now, this is going to be a, um, oh no, actually, have I, have I already unlocked blue? Am I going a bit mental? <laughs> okay, I've already unlocked him. I'm... I'm going mental guys. I am going mental. I didn't realize I hadn't unlocked. I am quite close to Jumba as well. Um, I think... Yeah, so this is what I want to talk about here. I want to go into the um, Coliseum and Arena here because what's quite important, especially now, uh, obviously Jumba's on the go guys, is that we're going to want to try and unlock him because you guys saw me test him out and he is a phenomenal character. Like, like ridiculous. Probably one of the best at the moment. So I want to push up in the arena and Coliseum in this video. Basically show you the teams I use. See where we can get. Now they've kind of updated it all a little bit. Because they've been working on the arena and Coliseum a little bit. So I want to see if it's going to be any different now. And just basically have a little bit of a tasty push through them both and see where we can get to. Let's get these refreshed quick. We absolutely crushed the guild contest though, guys. We get loaded up and we get loaded up. Right. I love that they've increased the money gain there again. Ooh, we've got three spaces left in our, um, in ours now. Right, let's have a look. So, Ninth guys, we came ninth in the server. 30 King Louis, 26 million gold. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, guys. And we can do my reset in here. There we go. Lovely. I, I really do like that you get one of those a day. Uh, one of those a week just so you can push it a little bit so let's jump into the coliseum guys now you'll see that i haven't actually fought any battles yet now my team at the moment is pretty decent you know as you guys know i've been working on a various amount of different characters to get them all kind of up to a bit of a better level so it, it is quite exciting to see how much I'm going to want to push through the Colosseum now. Because I haven't done the Colosseum for a while now and the arena. And I've upgraded loads of red skills as you saw. Um, the characters have been upgraded to the next stage. So we've got quite a lot happening here. So let's have a look. So I do need to get Elsa's red skill at the moment. Because this is the team which kind of lacks a little bit compared to the rest of them. But luckily, um, we had uh, Beast was able to just get frozen. So, oh, he should have died then. Oh, I didn't write Miguel was still alive, just hidden behind um, Hades there. So, guys, I want you to let me know what position are you guys in? Um, cause obviously, I know that the, the reset happens in a couple of days. So, what position have you guys gotten in? I really do like that they made it so um uh if you don't kill beast 
you still win. Yeah, because East can be a bit annoying. Lovely. If position. So let's try and take these two out now. These guys are easier than normal. I know I'm still only in the first tier, but normally it's a little bit more difficult than this. So I can't complain too much about this, guys. Because like I said, it's normally a bit more difficult. So I'm quite happy with this here. I'm quite happy with, um, that I'm absolutely sort of flying through this today, guys. Which is good because I need to get up in those... I need to get those ranks increased. Ready, basically. Come on. Good freeze. Oh, see. Another win. I, I I actually got a little bit scared then, guys. So we're in fifth. Look, I'm getting max points in all of these. So I think this one might... Guys, you like my Lego Movie Cup? This one... This one might be a little bit more difficult. Because they, they've got a bit of a better team here. But as soon as Goofy gets that speed up on Winnie the Pooh, guys, it honestly makes Winnie the Pooh basically like one of the most overpowered characters. Come on. Come on. So this is what annoys me with Beast, right? He's got a 47 stack of 50 now. And he just doesn't die. This is why I like, I do recommend that everybody uses Beast for arena mode. <laughs> because if you don't have a counter for Beast, you, you can normally just win every single arena battle, like religiously, with ease guys, with absolute ease. Ducking Bunny's laser. So I will eventually get rid of Zerg in this end team. But obviously at the moment I'm working on Elsa to make my last team a lot stronger. So all in all at the moment I've got a pretty solid kind of set going in the arena. I don't know why how I got 9,000 in that one. But yeah. So obviously these are a lot more aggressive now. Rested. So they are going to get a little bit more difficult now guys. So I'm going to just keep going in with my standard team because I do really, really rate um, rate the team that I use here. I'm curious to see if I can use my sort of... Because I've already structured this team to basically be... Um, basically have a good kind of setup and a good kind of approach to fighting all the enemies. So they were even able to take out Queen of Hearts now, even after her huge buff, guys. Because that was always something which was always quite annoying. Was obviously since they buffed um, Queen of Hearts, it's actually become quite difficult to kill her, especially in the story mode, guys. So that's always something which does sort of worry me a little bit. So, yeah. Plus 12,000 points in that battle, guys. That was mental. So we've absolutely smashed that one down with speed as well. So I think I'm pretty certain they've changed the scoring. Because... Yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that one, guys. Um, but you can see that, obviously, my, my team builds... Are really really good at the moment which is fantastic so let's do a couple more of these and we'll just see where we can get to guys because all in all this is going pretty this is going better than i expected in the kind of coliseum world guys so let's let's have a look because obviously uh you get points by the speed that you go through this and obviously that's why beast is quite an annoyance because Beast absolutely destroys the speed element in the game. So, this should be quite an easy clear, this one. 
Yeah. So we've got the speed back here. <sighs> oh, Syndrome. Look how cool Syndrome's move is. I've never really used Syndrome, guys. But he is a fantastic counter for Hades. Look at that. So I'm, I'm in fourth there. I'll take that. Now I need to creep up in the arena a, a couple. So my arena team, guys, is, is pretty solid. And you'll, you'll see this here. See, it's just all about Ducking Bunny's laser. And I had a few people commenting saying that obviously if I were to use Hades' uh, friendship mission, uh, kind of combined it with um, Ducking Bunny, that it would be a better result. You're not wrong. So what I probably should have done here, guys, is put Jafar... Oh, no, Beast got killed by the laser. That's fine. That was a speed run. I'm going to want to fight one a little bit harder now. So I, Merlin always is a little bit of an issue because he normally tends to stun Ducky and Bunny, uh, which obviously then just shifts off all of his moves. And Merlin is a very, very good counter for Beast as well. And as you can see here, guys, this the enemy team here is very, very well structured because we've got shielding, healing, and then shielding again with Marana. So that was a very, very good enemy team I, gave, I came across there. And they were very synergy. They had a good synergy there. Um, let's just push through a couple more. Oh, we've got Oogie Boogie. A second little shout out to Zero Talent there. Oh, that was close. That was extremely close. Sully. Sully saved the day there, boys. Sully saved the day. One absolute god. I want to try and fight this one again. So I've noticed a lot of people have kind of started to pick back up Baymax, um, which is quite interesting because I haven't seen Baymax been used for ages and he's kind of just appeared again now. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm quite surprised by by that, that they've kind of brought those characters back in, guys. But yeah, so this one here, you're going to see Mulan take my entire team out in one second. In a, there we go. Bang. Oh, it's so annoying. A rocket move is so annoying, guys. But anyway, I do hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. I just wanted to do a little bit of PvP for you. I always fail in arena, guys, because I've got a good team. But my team isn't really synergized enough to be in arena. I can normally, quite nicely, actually, quite nicely just kind of float through... Um, the Colosseum and Arena every week, guys, and get to a pretty good rank. I never really complain about it. It's just quite nice, really. Um, let's do one more before I round up. Oh, my God. Duke Kaboom just squashed my team. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.